Before I even get started in this video, I would like to ask everyone to say a prayer for Dana over at FCP Fishing. He's been battling uh, that C-19 thing now, going on three weeks, and was actually in the hospital yesterday. Um, this is really kicking his butt. Uh, if, you, if you can, uh, send him a, a thought and a prayer. I'd appreciate it. Hi folks and welcome to Shake Happens. It's probably been about a month since I posted a video here. I know uh, early in January or sometime in January I put up a community post that I was going to be slowing down a little bit in YouTube going into 2022. Uh, there's no particular reason other than I've just been busy. And a lot of the things that I do here I'd like to take the camera along, I just haven't done it. And it kind of feels good to leave the camera behind every once in a while. Uh, my shop is a complete mess. I've been working on quite a few projects over the last three weeks. Um, hopefully when my buddy the Nomi gets here next month for a visit, I'll have him help me clean up. One of the most recent projects I was working on was this countertop here for the barn. We had some leftover scrap corian and a bunch of cedar that I milled down. This is all white cedar that I trimmed this with and then did some live edge uh, red cedar plates for the drawers. We never have enough counter top space here and my seven foot trestle table that I made always gets filled with things when I have guests and you're kind of making a little hole to set a plate down. This will solve that problem. I've been wanting to do this for quite a few years now and I finally got on to doing it. Another project that's kind of been ongoing for the last few weeks is just taking scrap wood that I have, making some quick frames and getting pictures blown up of things that have happened here over the last 18 years as shit happens. I got a, I got a long ways to go. I know this wall looks just about full but this is a 60 by 60 pull barn. There's a lot of space to hang up pictures. So I can see another hundred of them getting hung up here in the next three, four months. I'm betting this pile of offcuts here at this end is close to two feet tall. Uh, and this is just one of many. They're scattered all over the place. It's hard to believe that I had this wood shop very clean a couple months ago. But I also know that January and February are it's kind of my shop time getting projects done. Getting a lot done, but I think maybe one day this week I need to start cleaning up and maybe have a little bonfire. I've also started a few tabletops or stand tops. This here is a cherry and maple. And over there I got another one started of red cedar and another one with walnut and I think another one with maybe catalpa. I like getting all these tops done and then the second go around start putting the skirting and legs on. So these have been keeping me busy as well. I do think here soon I'm going to put some of the shop equipment away put some stuff on the side burner and see if I can get out on one of these local lakes to go fishing. I might even try my ponds out back. I haven't even been ice fishing yet this year. Now granted we didn't start getting safe ice till a couple weeks ago and then we had a couple kind of big snowstorms here recently but I am going to take a break and if I do go out fishing a few times I will take some camera gear. I really enjoy filming some fishing trips. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I just wanted to get a, a quick vlog up just to keep you guys up to date, up to speed on what's going on here. Again, I slowed way down on videos, um, much needed break. We're, we're <clears throat> working on a lot of projects, getting a lot of things done. Um, but I'll try to get up a vlog here 
um, as often as I can to keep you guys uh, up to speed. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for hanging in there and sticking around. And until next time, cheers. One more thing I'd like to point out is, believe it or not, after 16 years of owning nothing but a flip phone, my better half, Lori, finally got me a smartphone. I'm still trying to figure it out, but it is kind of neat to have. Also, in my community post, I put on there that I've been a lot more active on Instagram, posting daily there, just little things happening around the property. So if you want to check that out, you can go to Shick Happens 70.